Has there been a change also in the Bitcoin community, like in the, um, I don't know if you can like think of like a stereotypical Bitcoiner or not even that, just like maybe the, the majority of Bitcoin holders were active in the community. Um, is it fair to say that they were less open to the idea of DeFi yeah. on Bitcoin before and now that's changed? And if that's the case, what do you think is driving that? Yeah, I'm always cautious when talking about the Bitcoin community in monolithic yeah, terms. Yeah, of course, there's a, lots of like different people exactly. in it. But yeah. And I think when you think about crypto in general, maybe this is less the case now, but most people's first interaction with crypto is Bitcoin. So we're all Bitcoiners at a certain level, right? Um, however, there are, you know, there are kind of more extreme uh, voices in this space. Uh, it is a highly... Um, culturally and even religiously um yeah it's a very intense culture um so i'm always cautious about talking about it in monolithic terms because there's all sorts of subsets and different positions i think the way i look at it that i kind of self-identify if you will is as a bitcoin pragmatist um you know i'm for me this is the this is an entirely bitcoin represents an entirely new computing paradigm um something that we really haven't seen for we really hadn't seen in de in decades until bitcoin went live in 2008 um to understand it or see it as simply a means of storing value and a means of exchange is to massively limit the possibilities for what you can do with the bitcoin blockchain um we have always seen it as a entirely novel form of computer that anybody can interact with. And, um, you know, the launch of the first Bitcoin side and the launch of Rootstock was really just an example of how you can take the cryptographic power of Bitcoin and bring it to bear for a completely different set of uses that Bitcoin was never really originally designed for. Um, you know, I, I, to be very honest with you, I'm, I'm very, uh, like I tend not to get too involved in the debates around what you should or shouldn't use Bitcoin for, what is or isn't a right use of block space. Like I'm pro experimentation, um, you know, so long as nobody's getting hurt, um, it's all good. Right. And everybody's staying within the rails. Um, yeah. I, so uh, yeah, I think it is fair to say that up until have, has there been a change? I don't know. I don't know if there's been a change. I think maybe the, the number of, people building has grown and the experimentation space has expanded and maybe the example and the yeah maybe the those voices have just got louder and started to drown out to a certain extent the more yeah the more sort of extreme uh, culturally um dogmatic voices you know there's a you know i, I a lot of Bitcoin culture and a lot of crypto culture in general is people just talking about stuff um, and getting excited about the culture. I think I'm more interested in seeing what people are building and letting those who are creating things and using this technology for new and novel use cases or just everyday use cases. I'm more interested to see what they do because I think those are the ones that are going to build the future. I think though those that are more interested in kind of conserving and protecting and um you know anchored in a sort of romantic almost religious view of the technological past yeah history tends not to be on the side of those uh, i think history is a bit more um favorable to people that try new things and try and experiment and build build stuff that's um for everyone